put it bluntly, climate change is the biggest issue facing the Earth. It has the potential to change everything. It will affect how many crops we can grow and, and the amount of habitable land that we, that we can live on and nature can live on. So we've got to start doing something about it now, big time, uh, and to, uh, to slow the effects and, 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 and reduce them. I've always had a uh, lifelong love of nature, but more recently I started to get a bit worried about nature and the impact that man was having on the planet, squeezing it out of its own rightful place. Come on, here they come. The statistics are pretty horrific. 60% of all wildlife has been lost since 1970, including here in the UK. So we decided to do something about it. We set up a family project to create a nature reserve here in North Yorkshire. And that's how we began. As a family, we started to look for land to acquire. And thankfully, something came up. 26 acres of uh, what was just rough grazing outside York. And it was there that we set about trying to create the nature reserve now called Sylvan Nature Reserve. And we're here at it today. In the beginning, this was just a field. We planted the trees, but they were just baby saplings, knee high in their tree tubes. We planted 20,000 trees here, and we were amazed by the explosion in biodiversity that happens when you plant trees on this sort of scale. Once the flowers arrive, you get insects and birds, and birds of prey and mammals, and nature just arrives. When we started Sylvan Nature Reserve, it was 10 years ago and all our children were still at school. Uh, and they share a love of nature with us, so we wanted to involve them right from the start. It was a family project and we would come here at weekends and, and work on the land and, and, and get the project underway. We realised we could, we could do this um, on a bigger scale and, and create a commercial enterprise. So that's how Make It Wild was born. Well, our mission statement is, it's not our aim to protect nature, it's our purpose. And that philosophy pervades everything that we do and, and every decision we make. We always put nature first. At Make It Wild, we sell quite a wide range of um, eco-friendly products. So we have uh, bamboo toothbrushes, we have shampoo bars, we have beeswax wraps, all things to help you live with a bit less plastic and a bit more sustainably. We also sell tree dedications and more recently our carbon offsetting through tree planting which has been really popular. We just launched um, our habitat boxes and these are either concrete ones which are integral to your building so you don't see them or wooden ones which you can attach to a post or a tree in the garden. And we've more recently gone into the more experiential side of things. So we have an eco-friendly luxury holiday cottage which people can rent for holidays. We also um, run our Reiki retreats from there where people come and do wonderful Reiki treatments and do mindfulness and meditation in the woods. We're having a barn built which is actually the first infrastructure that we've had at, at Bank Woods. And once we have appropriate permissions in place we'll be able to use it as a base for activities like yoga, foraging, green woodworking, mindfulness and all kinds of activities in the woodland which we think will be really exciting. Is this aerial photo taken after the trees? Because it looks like yeah. a wood area here. That's right. Well, they, this was our plan when we first bought the land of what we were going to do. And that was just a hand-drawn plan that we had for sort of reference. But then this is actually um, taken from Google Maps and um, it shows r remarkably how yeah. all the areas we've filled with trees are now completely woodland and the clearings show up there and the ponds map as well that was that was right when we first got bang woods we, we, that was drawn wasn't it this is what um clients who buy um carbon offsetting these are, this is one of the certificates look did you know we, we did them like this yeah, a unique aspect of the carbon mitigation through tree planting that we offer at make it wild is that we've had all of our trees photographed by drone by Leslie so we can offer the client an actual aerial photograph of the trees that they've paid for 
as part of their certification. The drone mapping um, involves taking a lot of photos of the area of the planted trees, stitching all of those together to make one big map of the area. And then we can overlay a grid on top of that. And this means that it's very clear as to where the trees are located when people buy them for carbon offsetting. So rather than just saying your tree is in the woodland, we can say your tree is in this exact location. Well, after doing the first mapping session, I was just chatting to Helen and she was saying how busy things were becoming for the company and how herself and Chris were looking to possibly get some external support. And I just really enjoyed working in the woodland and think what the company's doing is fantastic and just said I'd be happy to help out. I came across Make It Wild about six months ago. I was put in touch with them through an organisation called Zero Carbon Harrogate and on their newsletter they talked about this new entity called Make It Wild and I was looking on their website and newsletters I got in touch with Chris and then obviously then with Helen and I had the pleasure of planting trees with them uh, with my family a few months ago and have been in touch ever since. Biodiversity and planting trees, goodness it's it should have always been important to me, but it has only become so recently. I guess being a parent has changed things. Oh, OK, we're getting somewhere. All right. I feel more of a duty to you know, look after the next generation and, and their grandkids and kids upon kids. Go on, jump on it. Oh, that's easy, that one, wasn't it? So we're accelerating the destruction of our environment and you know, we're the, the first generation that absolutely has that information and can do something about it. When I first planted a tree, I thought it was going to be quite difficult. In fact, it is incredibly simple. I mean, my kids can stand on the spade and open the, the ground up and do the tree. In fact, they don't even need me. Uh, why is it a good idea? It's, it's working as a family. Where else can you do something like that, you know? And we've done it as a four and we'll always remember the experience. In connection with some of the work we wanted to do at Bankwoods, the county ecologist was invited to come and, and look at the environment. Um, and he was so impressed with the biodiversity there, particularly in our ancient woodland, that he suggested we um, were put forward as a sink site, which is a site of importance for nature conservation. So the next step was for a group of botanists to uh, come along and do what amounted to a fingertip search um, of the woodland and they found over 70 species of wildflower, many of which were unique to ancient woodland. And we're really delighted and, and proud that Bankwoods has now been recognised as a site of importance for nature conservation. We're about to plant 8,000 trees there and we're going to be seeking businesses to sponsor these trees uh, because we know what an important part of a marketing story it is to businesses to be eco-friendly and to be supporting the environment. Our strategy is to do more of the same because the more trees we plant, the more rewilding of, of, of space that, that we have, then the more that nature will benefit. But the other thing we want to do, actually, is not try and do everything ourselves. We would like to actually help others and inspire others to, to do some of the things that we're doing now, even if it's just an individual putting a few trees in their garden, or it's a, a, a bigger enterprise planting 10,000 trees. Because actually, the change that we've got to make is massive, and we all need to do it together.